Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Warhawks have felt the brunt of this losing streak, not only on the field and in film sessions with the coaches, but pretty much everywhere on campus. You fall into a losing streak like this, and it really just takes the energy and drains the air out of the whole place. They need to get something to go right, and it would be very beneficial if that happened early in this game. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. They'll bring him down at the 14. The Bobcats know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, if we worry about him too much, we could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Paul's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 16. They come out on an empty backfield. around the 31-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First and 10, ball on their own 31. Taken down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Again with the run. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out to the 38-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. First and 10 following that big run. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. Check him, check him. Ready! One. That one goes for good. 
good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First and ten. Ball on the 13. Touchdown, Bobcats. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Cornuskers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Polsters move them down? And for Purdue, they've won two straight. The Boilermakers claim the W, 24-19. Meanwhile, the Tigers had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. This was a tight one to the very end. Johnson's resourceful as a receiver. He takes what the defense gives him, uses their leverage against them, and he exploited the D all day, going for more than 150 yards. The Gators win it, 21-14. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. Sapp has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes to the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he hauls it in. And they make the stop at the 40. Anderson makes the stop. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Five wide. He zips it. Caught by the sophomore. And they finally push him out at the 31-yard line. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skilled players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws a bullet over the middle. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Inside the 10. He's knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. Just outside the goal line. Hands it off. They'll bring him down at the one. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety.
Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They'll spread the field with five wide. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. And he is drilled at the 34. And a good decision there. Yeah, if he didn't have anybody open downfield, and instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 34. Taken down right around the 34. No game. That makes it second and 10. He would tackle immediately. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. They come out in a five-wide set. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Donaldson is back deep to return. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. He keeps it, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. First down. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That brings up second and nine. Here we go.
there's a strike complete. Tackle made at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Gamecocks came into the day ranked 12th. All those who said they weren't that good now have plenty of ammunition. Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. The Razorbacks walk out with a seven-point win. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Good outside run there. Oh, comes away with five yards on the carry. From their own 22-yard line, second down. goes around the 22-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. Third down. Catches it, and that's all. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Sap awaits the snap. Warhawks really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Fires quickly to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Louisiana Monroe is up seven. They try running left. And he hits him hard at midfield. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. The Warhawks with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at about the 37 yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Brought down in the open field. Campbell makes 
The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Gets it out quickly. And he tackles him hard at the seven. That's a game of 19. That makes it first and goal. And they get the sack. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 15. Louisiana Monroe is up a score. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Louisiana Monroe is hoping to make this a two-score game. And they tack on three points. Penalty marker down. We might have roughing the kicker. The kick is Woods has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down to the open field. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a That makes it second and two.
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's incomplete. Paul was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Runs right for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Oh, it's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun it off on the delay. He fights forward to about the 46. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 46. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 40-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's tackled at the 40. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That'll bring up fourth and one. at the 30, makes it to the 27. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 22. Man left, man left. Blue down, two down. Blue down. Blue 45. He scrambled. And he just gets rid of it.
Play 13 of the current drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out around the 12-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it 37. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the nine. They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw, they'll bring him down at the two. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kicks away, and it is good. Texas State to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The Warhawks came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And for Morris, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. there to knock it away certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime 24 10 Louisiana Monroe glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This first half could have long-lasting implications, not only for this season, but for the career of this coach who's really getting some attention in some big circles. He, he's going to be a very hot commodity. But it's one thing to do it against the little boy. It's another thing when you come and you pull the stunners. I mean, when you beat teams that you're not supposed to beat, that's when coaches make their money. I mean, think about it. It's easy to beat teams that are as talented as you or less talented. But when you go against a team that across the board, the talent discrepancy is in big favor on the other side, and you can get a big W like this, 
100%. It's a, it's a highlight on the resume. It's something that coaches and programs or programs are going to be looking for big-time coaches down the road. They'll be looking for you. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. the stop at the 28. Number 22 brings his end down at the 28 yard line. That will make it second and seven. Easy, easy, easy. Nice run and he's brought down. That's good for a game of five yards. That will bring up third and two. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. We didn't want that. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 47. That's good for a game of 4 yards. That makes it second and six. Good outside run there. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. He has some room. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. To the 10. What a play. Brought down inside the 5. That makes it first and goal. Here's a run. Touchdown! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. converts the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 31-10. Woods gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20, at the 30. Tackle at the 42. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. That first half performance can have a much larger implication than just winding up as the lead upset on College Football Live or College Game Day or Sports Center. This is a potential program building type of victory if you can pull it off. This is one that bonds the student body with the team, the alums are proud, and all of a sudden you can take a real significant step. Well, it's one thing to hear your coaches say that you can do it, you can do it. It's a completely different thing Still as first a first that you come out and you did it. When you do it, you know you can do it again. You build confidence from, from coming up big in big moments. So this is definitely one of those things where you look at your program, and if you continue the way you're going and you pull this big upset, Recruits start to pay a little bit more attention. Fans get more excited. Boosters get more excited. Everything starts peaking and going in the right direction because now you've been there and you've done that. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Chris will be along in just a second. Looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country. Here's guys good. It's like a game school. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded them. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I tried to. Hey, Stinky? Yes. Red and Kirk, you are at a safe distance. Take it away. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. The halfback with a carry. Tackle made at the 32. That'll make it second and seven. Back on the screen. Brought down around the 27 yard line. Gaining five on the play. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Three down, three down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here we go. Round 50. And down he goes at the 19. Side and tackle quickly. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 19. at the 10. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Taken down at the 12-yard line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. That brings up fourth and three. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. 
This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. Louisiana Monroe looking to add to this big lead here. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Down he goes at the 27. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. There's a strike complete. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Strike and he drops it. Harris the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 42 yard line, it's second down. The Bobcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Three down, three down. Hey, come on, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Run Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 25. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. Now he 
he tries to buy some time. Rolls out on a leaping interception by the corner. Big opening. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown. Big play. First row foul. Cliff Lippy. Offense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Louisiana Monroe with a big advantage. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. The ball pops free. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Well, it took a little while, but finally something went right for the defense. We'll see if they can make a little run here. If there was ever a time to take advantage of a situation, then this would be it. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Quick throw. He's at the 30, and the ball bounces out of bounds. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27. Five wide. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. It's a great tackle at the 22. Well, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Louisiana Monroe, up big. He's scrambling. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. We head to the fourth quarter, and we didn't see this coming. 38-10, Louisiana Monroe. Right. 
Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Brought down at the 43. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. If you don't get this, boy, you think you won't get this? Louisiana Monroe looking to put this game away if they score here. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. They come out in an empty backfield. And that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Number 13, the receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. And this is the 10th play of the drive. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After reviewing the play, so the call on the field will be reversed. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes at the 12. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Caught end zone for the touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Louisiana Monroe comes to the line holding that commanding lead. He makes the PAT. A quick update now, here's Reed. Between the hedges, the dogs are playing ball in Athens. The Tigers' defense is feeling it after the pick six. Missouri in front, 21-13. Reese, we really got a lopsided game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play.
hits him hard at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 30. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, first down. to the receiver, incomplete. Young, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Taken down at the 43-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. He scrambled. Waits. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Sure, they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take you down to Athens Town. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Tigers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Holland, he now has two touchdown passes. The Tigers have the lead, 28-13, getting close to halftime. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. 
There isn't much time left. This isn't what you normally see here. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Boy, aren't they? They're so full of energy. It's almost scary. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Louisiana Monroe comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Makes it out to about the 39. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. On the ground, left side, and they got him for a loss. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got the corner. Decent run here, right side. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Under a minute left in the game. And they make the stop, the 39 yard line. First down. Just a total lack of competition today. Louisiana Monroe, 45, Texas State, 17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>